Hey. Hey there, hey. girl. <laughs> <laughs> this is the power hour. The hour of power. That's is what it? they call it. Uh, is it really? I thought it was called the hour hour power. Our power flower. Now, a- anyways, yes, this is obviously not the power hour. No, it's the sour hour. The sour hour with um, your host, Prince Zipix, all Finally. the way from communist China. Wait, what? So. I'm American, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and our dear Rotten Socks. What's up, Air Quotes? What happened? What up? What? Hello? Hi? Hello. Yeah? Hi ho. Is this thing on? Is this thing on? <laughs> <laughs> well, you've tuned into another delicious night of power every Thursday. Here on Real Liberty Media. I wouldn't say every Thursday. Or not every Thursday. If if, if I don't ninety percent it or you know. You know. Hey. You're not allowed to sleep anymore, Terrence. Sleep is for the weak. And as Nas says, <laughs> I don't sleep because sleep is the cousin of death. <laughs> Mike says he hears a band playing Ten Cans. Ten Cans? Yeah, I think he's referring to your intro music. Yes, that was Tin Cans. It was lots of Tin Cans. Um, clacking and clashing in unison. <sighs> but we're getting off track talking about the uh, random disjointed intro music. Um, that was like uh, Techno Gnomes... Um, Frolicking uh, on a neon frontier. This is the power hour. This is just saying it's off topic. Off topic, you say? We could go off topic. Anyway, let's talk about Elon Musk. Elon Musk. Oh boy. So Elon Musk has opinions on crypto, does he? I. That's what I'm hearing, at least. At least according to Forbes. Forbes, yeah, they're they're authorities on cryptocurrency for sure. Yeah, no, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. He says, in terms of his general thoughts on financial technology, he is neither here nor there on Bitcoin. I am neither here nor... He probably holds, like, fucking thousands of Ethereum or something. He probably owns Bitcoin. Like, he probably is Bitcoin. No, you're giving him way too much credit. Yeah, I am. <laughs> what do you think, Rotten? These two CEOs, uh, these two CEOs, both from Twitter and uh, Tesla, uh, Jack Dorsey and um, Elon Musk, mm-hmm. they both are very, uh, I don't know, kind of millennial, kind of on board with the new trends. Right. So it's very ironic if either of them come forward and say, hey, I'm not into Bitcoin. Of course, Jack Dorsey is into Bitcoin because Cash App does have sure. Bitcoin. Uh, they sell and buy Bitcoin there. But uh, my point being, it's very far-fetched that Elon Musk is not into Bitcoin or that he said that he's not he's not either in or out. It's He's just playing the media. Right. He, he doesn't want to admit that he has some. Uh, but this guy has created Tesla. Uh, it's working with those uh, spatial things. It's launched that truck. It, I bet you. No, Elon he Musk must be into the, the spaceship I'm, design for the space force. Yo, did you see? There was an article. I yeah, think I'm back in the. Sorry about that. I, I, I go ahead. Uh, was interjecting, <laughs> thinking about um, you know you privatized good. space travel and. Uh, <laughs> And this is kind of rever- loops back around, but I saw like uh, that the Space Force uniforms were released, and they were like desert camouflage, <laughs> which was ridiculous. But um, I-, I wouldn't be surprised if Elon Musk had something to do with Space Force. No, he wouldn't do that. He's too progressive. 
but uh, move on. I, 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 I moved on a weird tangent. Uh, and I believe, if I recall correctly, he, he even posted on Twitter uh, during the ball run of 2017 or early 2018, sometime, he posted something about Dogecoin, that he was into Dogecoin. Yeah. So, Nick to like I mean, Dogecoin. if he publicly say that if he publicly say that he believed in Dogecoin or something like that, I don't remember that. It was that he changed right his, now. his name uh, to CEO of Dogecoin. That was, <laughs> that's what it was. <laughs> and it was like that for a week or so, and we were like, um, yeah, cool, <laughs> I guess. So I'm reading this article a little bit further, uh, and uh, there's some direct quotes from Musk actually regarding regarding this. Um, says this sort of gets crypto people angry, but there are transactions that are not within the balance of the law, um, and there are obviously many laws in different countries. And normally, cash is used for these transactions, but in order f- order for illegal transactions to occur, uh, cash must be used for legal transactions. You need an illegal to legal bridge. That's where crypto comes in. Well, actually, that's positive. I thought it was going to be negative. Um, uh, no, that is negative. Shit, I, I, that's a very deep quote. I didn't expect that. But so he's saying that uh, that crypto is in fact the bridge to, you know, the flourishing of the criminal underworld, basically. Okay, he's not. He's not completely wrong in saying that no. crypto is crypto does crypto is mainly used on and you know the criminal underworld. Yes, but it also has legitimate legal uses. I think any um, any form of currency ha- is going to be rife with that. But Regardless especially crypto, though, has yeah. that. Well, yeah, there's there's it's inherently. Uh, I mean, take Monero for example. It's inherently private, so it's not like passing bills with fingerprints. You know what I mean? So, mm-hmm. but. I guess you'd have to look for that stuff to find it in the first place. I mean, but I don't know. It's a very hard argument, and I think it's not that uh, it's a bad thing. It's that the, these platforms are encouraging our adaptation to be able to subvert activity like that on other levels because money is 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 a deeper issue altogether. And uh, it's the interest in, in these things that has to be, you know, looked at. In my opinion. And all those arguments about uh, Bitcoin or Monero or any cryptocurrency being used by drug kingpins and for criminal activities are just naive and ultimately wrong because uh, none of these cryptocurrencies are political or they don't know about religion, they don't know about, point being, they don't know about the user or the usage True, yeah. that they're being uh, used on. It, it, it's, they don't know anything. So those headlines that say Bitcoin is for far right wingers, it's like, what are you talking about? It doesn't matter. It can be used by a no. far right winger or it can be used by a Soviet, it can be used by anybody in the world. They're universal. And right. Here's there, the, there is no CEO, there is no headquarter. Yeah. Uh, also, just one thing to add real quick. Um, we, uh, Romeo's, I think I'm saying the name right, brought to, our, brought to my attention. On Investopedia, it says that Musk owns about 2.25 BTC. 0.25 Bitcoin. Oh, that's wow. all of, thanks, but that's, thanks, that's from earlier this year. So, so maybe you like... He jumped in. He's like he's millionaire. Like, fill up his bags. Like Bitcoin sucks, so there's still the price drops, and he can fill his bags. So, who knows? But here's something yep. uh, interesting that I see um, later in that article. He says, "Where I see crypto uh, as is effectively a replacement for cash, um, but not as a replacement for primary. Primary. I do not see crypto becoming." the primary database. That, to me, does not sound... I mean... 
why shouldn't the blo- a blockchain entity be the primary primary database? I mean, that's a, a weird statement in my mind. No? Yes? Maybe? Yeah, no, I agree. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, w- what primary database are we using now? I mean, <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, I know, I agree with you, friends. I mean, it's weird. Yeah. I, d- I, don't, I don't quite get where he was trying to, s- trying to get with that. Yeah, I don't know. It's too awesome because I'm running on two hours of sleep. <laughs> this is probably like some 65-year-old guy at Forbes. He's like just <laughs> clipping out quotes <sighs> from, from the, the speech. And he's like, this sounds like it makes sense. Forbes. Hang on, so the journalist of Forbes is saying that Musk said that cryptocurrencies could possibly uh, eradicate cash? Well, I guess uh, in one way of that, yes, he's saying that, that crypto could be a, be a primary payment solution uh, in lieu of fiat or cash. Um, but on the other hand, he, he thinks... That, that, that I don't know. I don't want to think about it. There's a duality in that statement that fucks my head. <laughs> um, and it's even ironic because it's not even the threat that m- some cryptocurrencies may pose to the status quo. That's fine. It, they do pose a threat to how money works nowadays. Sure. That's okay. But the fact that anybody including Musk, anybody, says that they are going to replace cash as is, is uh, blind because it's not uh, the actual cryptocurrencies which are, who are trying to do that. It's the governments and the central banks who are trying to outlaw cash with the argument that cash use, is used for nefarious purposes. So the enemy is not cryptocurrencies, the enemy is the actual banks and the actual governments saying, hey, this is used for uh, bad things, so we, we need to this, take uh, back cash. Yeah, we talked about this, I think, several yeah. shows ago, actually. Uh, th- there was a guy lobbying Congress um, regarding crypto. I forget exactly what his fucking... His, his stance was also nebulous, because he's probably a fucking boomer, too. He doesn't really know what he's talking about. <laughs> but, uh, um, actually, I did research in this article right up before, but he's Probably not far from our age. I, I I did see his picture, yeah, but um, what the fuck was I talking about? Shit, you threw me off track. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Short term memory loss, that Prince. How about that local sports team, the one that made the volley to the home run? No, I think we fascinated the Elon a little too much. I think we did. I, I'm, I'm, I think I'm, we should move on to Greece. I'm sick now. I had I had too much Elon. How about Greece extraditing an alleged launderer? Greece, good good for um, uh, the Grecian authorities. Um. <laughs> for laundering launder, four Alexander billion Bitcoin. in built Bitcoin. Four billion in Bitcoin. Where did this happen? Um, where was this la- well? That the uh, laundered. From what? Oh, this is Mount Gox. Oh, what? Uh, Vinix alleged crimes. Vinix, uh, Vinix, is believed to have a direct relationship with the infamous hack of crypto. Ex- well, you know, Mount Gox. Um, that's what it says. Oh, 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 oh. So essentially, this this guy was laundering um, Mount Gox funds. Purportedly, you're saying. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Interesting. No, 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 no. It looks like he. It was. It was due to a, the hack of the exchange that he oh, got so the money. It was separate. No, I think he's the one that did the hack. Is from at least that's how I understand it. Yeah, that that's kind of what I was reading too. Hmm. Well, that guy's fucked. <laughs> but what, how did he launder it is what I'm not understanding. I I don't know. I, there's a lot of footnotes here that, that I I don't really have the interest in clicking right now. But I'm sure I could disseminate 
what it's talking about. Anyways, what do you think about that, Rodman? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm kind of lost. I, I don't oh. know. Uh, you, you were talking about something about mountain <laughs> dogs and yeah, some no, billions uh, and we have uh, there. Um, there, I got lost. I'm we sorry. Have prescribed articles, um, uh, and this was the third one from uh, the fourth in crypto. Um, it's about uh, Greece extraditing uh, this guy Alexander Vinnick, France. Uh, in connection with the Mount Gox hack or launder laundering. Oh yeah. So yes. Catching you up. I'm um, pulling it up. Yeah. 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 Pretty interesting. Uh, uh, the entire thing with my mountain Gox, it's it's just saddening for me. It's my mountain of. Uh, I guess those were the very. very huh. My mountain of gox is full of sadness. That's what I should. That's that's the uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it was just the very early days of Bitcoin, and they were out to get those bitcoins. And of course, given that again it was very early, the the inf, the infosec and the security uh, measures that they took they weren't enough. So he got in big trouble. And I believe, if I recall correctly, um, the, um, Gox started trading those coins, but they were paper trading, meaning that they weren't actually trading with actual bitcoins. Instead, they were trading with fake bitcoins, so to speak. Oh, sure. In a nutshell, Inject yeah, volume. they were trading with stuff that that were in the database, but they weren't on the blockchain, so they were not actual actual bitcoins. So it, it was an and entire shit show. Weasels. Right? Wait, what? <laughs> um. <laughs> anyway. What did you say? I said snaky fucking weasels. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Jesus, Jesus, what does he have to do with this? Tell me. <laughs> he, well, he caused it. I he don't know. It. You tell he, me. He created Jesus. it. Here's a yeah, he's so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we just lost all our Hispanic viewers. We did. Yeah, but that's okay. We're gonna talk about one last crypto subject and move on to some weird fringe shit because I don't know. Because crypto way makes you crumble. sleepy. <laughs> it, yeah, crypto makes people sleepy. There's like, you know, a few people who enjoy what we're talking about, but we want to include everybody. So I enjoy everybody it. likes I fringe tired. theories <laughs> and uh, conspiracies and weird fecal related things. Uh. So, um, last crypto story. Meet the crypto angel investor running for Congress in Nevada. Yay! <laughs> Quick, everybody tell me he's in Nevada so I can track you down. Imagine Vegas and accepting Bitcoin. Uh, I, I bet they already do. Well, I'm sure that in a capacity they do, but imagine like Harris or some huge casino like doing well, QR, I guarantee you the casinos accept Bitcoin. Bitcoin. I mean, there's, that's money. I know. Imagine what would happen, like, in terms of daily volume. Like, would that max out? I don't know. Oh, I guarantee you Bitcoin would have instantly maxed out. Yeah. That's a fucking interesting thing to think about. Interesting. Anyway, uh, anyways, uh, Lisa Song Sutton. Um, okay, she's a Bitcoin ATM investor in Las Vegas. She would love to sit down with President Trump and have a discussion around Bitcoin and, tr and cryptocurrency. I, she's lost my vote already because... Why? <laughs> because it's probably not going to happen. Like, that's very optimistic, Miss Sutton. I'm... The only way you hang... I mean, yeah, I that fucking dickhead... Uh, that method man already... 
already made a thread saying that he didn't like Bitcoin or any cryptocurrencies because yada 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 they're not backed up by anything I'm a fucking boomer and it threats my whole system so I get the fuck out <laughs> it, it's not going to happen exactly not yeah gonna happen. it's just it's yeah. blindly optimistic I'd love to sit down with President Trump and have a discussion around Bitcoin and cryptocurrency but I mean you don't know it could happen it could happen it could. Christ, I mean... But the only record. way that that could happen is if they get their fingers in the system and unfortunately, they cannot meddle with Bitcoin. Uh, they can meddle with anything else but Bitcoin. So, they're wrecked. <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe that's why, um, you know, the, these, these institutional cryptos are, are happening. Ramo yeah. says they got Bitcoin ATMs in the casinos. Oh, they do? Yeah. Nice. This is cool. So, go it's to your Rome. local casino. Zipix. Zipix. It's what Rome's. Is it? That's Zipix. what I said. You said Romy's. Whatever. <laughs> and don't call me Zipix. <laughs> Well, what should we call you, honey? <laughs> Don't call me honey either. Baby, 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 baby. <laughs> you know what you guys should call me. What? Yeah. Prince said it in the beginning of the show. Um. Tony Man. Bitcoin? What? <laughs> hey God, you guys are short term. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. You smoke way too much weed for that, man. Wait, what did I just say? <laughs> move it on. Let's just move on. <laughs> Anyways, let's get um, into the fecal matter. Is there anything I can say? Cupcake coin. Oh fuck. More shit about this is Lisa Song Sutton. I got, I've got some respect for her. Okay, here we go. Here Wait, we go. cupcake coin. What cupcake is coin. <laughs> what is cupcake coin? I don't know. I'm I'm scrolling to see. Oh, okay. She made us um a, a crypto for cupcakes. Did she? Why does this say cupcake coin? I don't know. Oh, okay, don't here we go, here we go. Sin City Cupcakes. What? Oh, Sin City, Vegas. Alright. Move quickly to get paid in Bitcoin, but then needed to know how to document document everything correctly. She contacted the state. And how so? Fuck these people. It's not Cupcake Coin. If I see cupcake coin in a headline, I'm gonna be like, "Oh, she's got a crypto for fucking cupcakes." They're just talking about her her cupcake factory accepting crypto. Why? Yeah. Anyways, enough of that. Yeah, let's talk about fecal. Fecal matters. What do we got here in this section? I'm afraid um, to look. More like the links here. I am totally afraid to look. Let's talk about a woman accused of repeatedly pooping in a parking lot. Woman, Massachusetts woman, alleged parking lot pooping, Whoa. busted by cops. Yo, this. this Please tell me this video. Photo, like it looks totally, <laughs> totally staged. She looks like. I, wa- I didn't. I'll play this. Poop is there a video? Please lot. tell me this video of it. Oh please. Please no, please no. Oh my god, what is her face? <laughs> she looks constipated. <laughs> She's like, I've does got a it, problem! I can't does she, it! Doesn't she not look constipated? I don't know, she looks either very sorry that she pooped in the parking lot, or or she's got some underlying medical issues, I don't know. Probably both. Anyway, cops and... Massachusetts said they arrested 51-year-old Andrea Gr- Grocer as she, as she allegedly made a habit of pooping outside a sporting goods store. <laughs> See, what I wonder... <laughs> what I wonder of this, like, did she, like, just a local woman? Like, she's like, I've got 16 cats and Wait a poop in front of the por- sports store. Wait a minute. She's being charged with eight counts of wanton destruction of property. Yes! Nail this fucker to the wall! <laughs> what is a wan- wanton... Just touched up property. <laughs> wanton, as an extreme and excessive. Not wantons like the. the <laughs> I'm tired, okay? <laughs> I'm running on two hours of sleep. 
It's okay, Zimix. Oh, yeah, you finally, you finally said it right. <laughs> <laughs> Andrea Grosser. Oh, they they apparently there is uh, man. She looks a lot different than the this like security cam footage. It looks a lot different than her because it's not her. Read underneath it. Oh, so that's just like oh, that's the jogger. What a fucking shitbag, fucking rag T- TMZ is. Fuck that. <laughs> okay, now we get to read about the mad pooper. We did. What? What? No, this is a different person. This is a jogger. Wait. Yes, but uh, I'm saying that uh, 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 we've we we never mind. You've covered this before. No. <laughs> We've been talking about it for the past ten minutes. No, no, this no, this is a different person. Oh, this is a different person. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Fuck. It, apparently, back in 2017, there was a jogger in Colorado crapping all over the place. And I quote from the article: "Residents had to have have had it up to here with their shit." <laughs> <laughs> this shit ain't Quite real, literally. Yo, actually, here in Hollywood, man, like, uh. The prime su- They don't even give a name. The prime suspect, we'll call our suspect number two. Had allegedly. <laughs> had allegedly. Taking the piss, man. Come on. Has allegedly been pooping all over Colorado. Colorado wow, Colorado Springs, third time to turn. But has taken a liking to one Kathy. I'm assuming it's Bud's yard in particular. She said her kids cut the runner mid squat and nailed this lady taking a poop. <laughs> I don't know. There's something wrong with the world today, man. Kathy says That's she's from confronted 2017, the, uh, So fuck Kathy. Ka- Kathy says she's confronted the woman who said sorry before running away, but she tells sorry. KKTV <laughs> the runner with the runs came back several more times. Oh, Kathy's fluttered her each time and thinks she's doing on purpose. She comes equipped with napkins. She snapped a shot of suspect number two and now the police are on the lookout. Watch your step, Colorado Springs. What kind of weird fucking fetish is that? <laughs> I, I, I get off by randomly <laughs> pooping in the same woman's yard repeatedly. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of I'm upset they didn't name the second one. I don't know. I don't know. These fecal matters are too dark for me, man. You were literally just talking about penile stumps two weeks ago. It's too dark, man. This is this is this is the limit, man. <laughs> so, anyways, man, man. So, what do you guys? What do you think about all that rotten? Yes. What are I mean, I feel the same shit. <laughs> Hold on. I feel the same shit. I felt when you two were talking about penises, uh, oh, I was disgusted. Yeah. I just muted my microphone and I didn't even pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Good man, good man. <laughs> hey, this is Prince's article. I'm just reading it. Hey, we're just reporting the, uh, in commenting, uh, co- adding commentary to important... Um, <laughs> important news, breaking news. <laughs> yeah. So... <clears throat> Anyway, but this time we don't have pictures, unfortunately. I have pictures. Anyway, no. no, 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 no. <laughs> they they on, say on. jogger marking his territory. Uh, 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 moving uh, on, though. Wait, 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 wait. Rome say that I've peed in the yard to mark my territory. Wait, wait, what, what? Rome said I have peed in the yard to mark my territory. Oh, everywhere I've lived. That, that's legit. I mean, hey, you gotta, you gotta do that. So are we? Is he is he implying that the jogger was just doing this, the jogger and the woman were doing the same thing, doing the same thing for crap? Well, animals in the wild actually uh, generally hide their feces because uh, they don't contain. Uh, uh, they usually attract predators. So why? Or maybe she? Maybe that was like a mating call. Hmm. <laughs> uh, some mating call. <laughs> if you like him, if you like her, poop in her yard. I'm trying to say she's trying to get some action from Kathy? Yes, that is what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right. Uh, let's all right. move on from the fecal matters. Let's talk about, let's talk about bush fire. Matter. 
Yeah, that works too. Let's, let's do that. Let's move into like something super fucking weird. Well, uh, opposite from feces. Well, the feces, thing. man, they can be dark and mattery. <laughs> this is true. Um, actually, th- there's a few things actually that. Uh, yeah, dark matter. Why not? I, no, it's a, a, a new a, a new theory that's emerging here about dark matter. <laughs> so, um, uh, what do you know about dark matter? Uh, uh, first off, they've been tr- trying uh, to detect it for <clears throat> six years. Well, the majority of the universe is comprised of of, of empty space. Um, you know, and and and. That and there's dark energy as well, um, which which is is similar. Which we're all familiar with. Six six six. Six six six. Balthazar. What? Anyways, so this article here um, basically says there is no dark matter. Instead, information itself has mass. So, dark matter is essentially information that that uh, can be decoded, maybe in a way. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I could see that being true. There's also a video in this article from Neil deGrasse Tyson. Oh yeah. Yeah. Neil had something to say. Yeah, Mr. Neil. I like Neil. He's cool. Uh, I mean, he seems to be on everything related to space. Good for him. I mean, at least he's not like some fucking vapid YouTube star and he's he's repping science and, and trying to educate people. That's no, regardless of the medium and his and his uh, saturation of it. At least his message is is positive and forward thinking. In theory. In theory. <laughs> <laughs> Dark matter theory, of course. Wimps. So, so what do you do? You think anything will come of this theory, Prince? Well, I, as as far as uh, theories go, it probably won't be uh, anything in, unless they can sort of prove. That it's happening. And do you think they'll ever do that? Do I think? Yeah. Well, this actually delves into a further argument. Because, uh, you know, consciousness. What is consciousness? It's not something that's necessarily measure- measurable uh, on a physical physical level. level. It doesn't have mass, so to speak. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, in that context, uh, dark energy or or dark mass being information would be kind of like the soul of the universe, so to speak. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Grimir is uh, calling Neil, Neil Dumbass. Neil Damas Tyson. Yep. Eh. Harsh. Harsh. It's okay. I mean, just don't forget about Bill Nye the Science Guy. A lot of people don't like Bill Nye the Science Guy, and I, I think the same thing about him. I mean, he, he's he's logic based. It's it's not an opinion. His his everything that he says is based on 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 theory and uh, uh, applied theory. I mean. And uh, it's not that he comes up with these opinions because he likes something the way that is or it isn't is. He examines this stuff scientifically and tells you, you know, well, what he knows about it anyways. So it's a lot different than, like, opinion news, in my opinion. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, and what do you think, Rotten? Uh, 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 <laughs> pass. Pass. <laughs> well, okay. Anyways. So, I don't know, man. Uh, 
The, this other co-host knows that it's not my area of interest, and it, I don't. I don't mean wrong though. It, to it's each its own. stuff, though. Really, I mean, it, it's. I, I always tried to look you know, from taking acid and fucking mushrooms as a child, <laughs> as a teenager. I always. Oh, nice. Find, N- now uh, we're speaking the same language. Drugs. Absolutely, man. Yeah. <laughs> so like. <laughs> You know, growing up doing that, I, I, I got heavily into ex- trying to find an explanation for, you know, everything. Anything that I could find, an explanation that I can understand. Uh, so that's why this kind of stuff interests me, you know. It's that trip yeah, that it, I agree. Yeah. We are... We could, well. we could say that... Uh, you only exist because I am imagining you. <laughs> That's deep. All right. Sure. I That's guess. That's deep, bro. <laughs> <laughs> deep. I don't know if I can handle it. I don't know either. I don't uh, know. So do you, want, do you want to talk about bushfires? Bushfires. Oh, uh, well, yes, as as most of you know, um, my wife, Sandy... Um, you don't have a wife... She, she's notoriously a bohemian, um, and last week we were having a barbecue, and and, and she burnt <laughs> off her, her pubic hair. Uh, hey, so Prince, Prince, <laughs> Prince, you don't have a wife. So, <laughs> nor do you have matter, anybody. Really? Well. <laughs> As as most of you guys know, I mean, um, yeah, a lot of Australia has been burning over the past few weeks, and um, yeah, the land down under, uh, many many animals dead, uh, not good, people displaced, yeah, from the land lost. down under. Hey, but there there was a good event though. Uh, I'm not trying to sound like a dick, although I am, uh, <laughs> but. There was this chick on Twitter that posted that every donation to those charities for the thing and to solve things, sort things out in Australia, he was going to privately send a, a nude to whoever showed her proof oh, that, that they yeah. donated to those things. Good for her. So yeah, it's great. We need more of that. More nudes. Wait, who's sending this? This uh, th- there was a girl. Um, uh, some yeah. Australian chick. I don't know. Mm, interesting. Okay. Good for her uh, using using her body for uh, and the better uh, of mankind. Yeah, uh, and allegedly she made up to five hundred thousand. So it was nice. And what do I, what if do I, I recall I, correctly, she started. What? What? Hmm? What do I pay? <laughs> I want. I want in. Oh, uh, Zipix wants some. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! French, you know you want in. Well, you, you should rephrase that. He actually wants to help Australia. Yeah, to yeah, definitely. Get better. Uh huh. Yeah. Sure. Let's go. With it, that. It's just a secondary effect. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Let's go with that. Well, sounds good. I want to head in the tin tinfoil hat zone here for a moment. Um, on on this subject, so I I I was alerted to the possibility that there were plans for a uh, a railway line um, across the coast of Australia, and that the path is somewhat coincidentally within the boundaries of all these fires and the people who own property within these zones uh, cannot rebuild they're not allowed that's what they say so and I'm this is a theory that's pretty new to me I hadn't really thought about it so I have to research a lot of the specifics on it but even the idea of it do do you think that's that's even possible? What, what do you think about this? Um, I definitely think that that could be 
definitely be the issue we find here, especially if it is um, indeed infringing on a government, a government um, mandated railway or you know a big company. They could have potentially started the fires. Yeah, I mean, because I remember in the first few days, I had, I had some guests from Australia uh, in the hotel, and, and they were talking about it. Uh, and yeah, the, the the fires were deliberately lit. Um, whether it was a fire bug or, or or not, it wasn't really specified. But um, yeah, they're they're not accidents. These, these bush fires. So that's an interesting point of contention. But that's how it is here in California too. Most of the fires that we have are, are caused by negligence or. Um, you know, people cause them. Um, I, I forget exactly. There was one recently that some guy had like trees in his truck and they caught fire or something like that. And, and it started um, this cascade. But, uh, you know. <laughs> I'm trying to find this map. Um, they had a map basically of the of the plan construction for this tra- rail line in, in the burned areas. From from somewhere, uh, yeah, the high st- high speed train. I suppose. Let me see here. Um, Clara, C L A R A. Australia's most ambitious master planning project. Eight compact smart cities across Victoria and uh, New South Wales. NSW con- connected to Melbourne, uh, Can- Canberra, and Sydney by a high speed rail. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. So yeah, who knows, man? Weird stuff. Weird stuff all around. It's a weird planet. And I'm weirder. Ah, 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 ah. No. Rotten Socks is... is Okay. He's got the worst fetishes. He likes tentacle porn. Uh... (laughs) <laughs> what what do you say? What <laughs> kind of porn again? What? Tentacles, Tentacles, man. You know what I mean. What is that? that? Don't play oh, coy with do, me, don't, sir. Don't deny it. Don't deny it. You don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Moving on. No, I don't. <laughs> well, Google it. I'll, I'll send you some tentacle... Uh, no, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing bad. It's nothing bad, I swear. It's PG-13. Yes. Everything I say is true. It's Peggy. Trust me, Peggy 13. it won't damage you. <laughs> mentally. Anyway. Well, it might damage you mentally, Prince. <laughs> Not any more than I already am, my friend. <laughs> no. Anyways. Um, so the coronavirus. Let's get real, folks. What do you what, think about wait, the what? coronavirus? The what virus? <laughs> Did you say the coronavirus? The recent pandemic. Is, is uh, that the Chinese bullshit thing? I don't know if it's bullshit, mm-hmm. but it's the recent uh, uh, un- incurable virus that has pandemic p- potential that that has come from uh, from China. Yeah, I had to read up on it. I didn't know this was an issue. You didn't know it was an issue. Well, I, I, since I live in a major metro area and, and work with a lot of travelers, like it it, it comes up a lot because they're they're. Um, they're especially wary at airports with people traveling because that, that's a primary vector for for infection. Um, because someone who gets uh, an illness in, let's say, I don't know, Bangladesh can can fly to Topeka, Kansas, in in the same day, and that means the attack vector for the virus expands where you wouldn't even think. But I'm trying to find the article here. 
because I believe they quarantined some some provinces in China. Can we put you in there? What? We should put you in quarantine. Man, my love, it breaks out of all quarantines. Mm, no, I don't. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it do, bro. Yeah, it do. Yeah, it do. It do. That's proper English, it do. It. Chinese cities cancel. Wait, no, wait. This is old. Is it not? No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Chinese New Year. Chinese cities cancel New Year celebrations, uh, and the travel ban widens in an effort to stop a coronavirus outbreak. So, um. I, I remember seeing uh, earlier this morning that some 600 people had died already, and, and who knows how many more were uh, were ill. Uh, and, um, you know, I don't want to sound alarmist or anything like that related to these issues, because there's a lot of smoke that gets blowed into these, these things uh, in the media. But I think the, the potential for, for a global pandemic is, is, is definitely a lot more realistic than a lot of us would like to admit. Yeah, we just both all drop dead right here right now. Uh, maybe. 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 Maybe, baby. Maybe Sadie. Maybe Sadie. So, yeah. I'm Hopefully gonna, they I'm find a... Uh, an inoculation? I don't know. Maybe they will, maybe Yeah, no, a cure or something to lessen the symptoms or anything. Yeah, I should have bookmarked the article, but I, I, I saw somebody had posted an article, which, and I, I ignore a lot of sensationalist stuff, that uh, there's been some sort of bone marrow transplant that, that kills uh, white blood cells infected with HIV. And if that's true, man, that's pretty fucking monumental. I'd have to search for that, but I don't know. If you can kill the hiv. Oh, yeah, I think we should do an asshole of the week. Well, who do you think should be the asshole of the week? Mother Nature. Don't say Grandma Steve. Mother Nature. Who the fuck is Grandma Steve? I don't know, but Mother Nature because... Why is Mother Nature the asshole of the week this week? Because she is trying to freeze us out of a house and home. Like, right now, it is literally... Hold on. The weather where I live right now is 35 degrees and snowing, and it's supposed to get colder and colder and colder. 35 degrees isn't that bad. Um, Considering the two day, couple days ago, it was, like, single digits. Yeah. You know, well, it's screw 63 Mother Nature. degrees Fahrenheit right now where I am. Well, that's because you're in California. You don't count. I count. One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six. <laughs> We're the best. West Coast is the best coast. Uh, no, uh, Midwest is the best coast. Uh, no. Welcome to California. California? Yeah. Well, yeah. we're in the Midwest, though. I'm in Illinois. Midwest oh, fuckers. Fuck. Uh oh. Uh oh. We got a war brewing here. Is it a problem? Uh oh. No, it, no, it is not. It's actually that I am in the same state. Oh. <laughs> oh shit. JJ. Oh. oh. I thought you were Mayday, Mayday. I thought you were in some different country. I didn't Oh <laughs> I mean, of course I am from other places. But right now I live in sadly in this state. <laughs> oh, so you sadly. know exactly what I've been dealing with. Yeah. <laughs> you guys but but this this wi- this winter hasn't been that bad though. Well, last year was fucking hell. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's it's been cold here the past couple nights. It's been like forty degrees, and that's been killing me. That's because you get some ninety <laughs> wow, degree weather every day. Wow, forty. 
<laughs> hey, listen, I'm, I'm from the to... East Coast. I mean, so I grew up with harsh, harsh fucking winters. So uh... no, he's used to like 110 degree weather. Who? Oh, well, you? Yeah. Me? Yes. In the summer. I mean, acclimated to it. I, I mean, I'm not. I'm not like native to it. I'm not like tropics wearing like a speedo bikini and shit. I doubt that. You probably are. You're probably wearing it right now. I'm actually wearing a speedo right now. I knew it. And it's hot pink. <laughs> Come here, baby. No homo. And it's like five sizes too small. Five times too small and it's got fucking flames on it. Come here, baby. No homo. <laughs> 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 I don't need that picture. No, I got that picture in my head. No, you stay. Of course you do. That's the way it's supposed to work, baby. No, stop calling me that. <laughs> well, we have probably um, one one last thing to talk about, I guess, right? Yeah, probably. Maybe. If I can find the article here. I thought I posted it. What article was it? Uh, Good answer. Yeah. I just <laughs> come, man. Oh, we, did you? Did, uh, did we talk about the galaxy and the black hole? No, we didn't. We didn't. Uh, we talked about dark matter, but not the not the black hole. But um, Next I time. wanted I wanted to close with doomsday. Do you, do you think we have time for the black hole? Do you, yeah, do we can do the doomsday clock. It? Let's do the doomsday clock. Let's do the doomsday clock. We can so, save that for the next show. Yes, there's always next time. There's always next time. When you don't catch a fish the first time, try again. Throw your line out there, motherfucker. And if Anyways. you still can't find it, throw data in the lake. Data leak? What? I said dynamite. <laughs> dynamite! I said throw dynamite in there. <laughs> Why is everybody complaining about my ad blocker every time I go to a news site? Yo, fuck the ads. Anyways, Doomsday Clock. Breaking news, Doomsday Clock is 100 seconds to midnight. The symbolic hour of the fucking apocalypse, people. That's right. The Doomsday Clock of famed Cold War, uh, Cold War Nixon-era politics is 100 seconds to midnight. What do you think about that? Uh, um, crickets. The bulletin of Atomic Scientist is moving the doomsday clock up 100 seconds to midnight, a metaphor for the end of the world in a recognition of growing threats from nuclear war, climate change, and disinformation. It is the first time the clock has passed the two-minute mark in more than 70 years of existence, a testament to the need for urgent action, the bulletin said Thursday. Denigrate and discard the most effective methods for addressing complex threats. What? Anti-disestablishmentarianism? No. That's a big word. That Prince to you could handle that? No, I cannot. Can you handle these... 12 inches of steel? No, because I don't swing that way. Yeah, you do. In your in your direct messages, you do. Not in hey, public, hey, I guess. No, no, I don't. No, we're, we'll talk about this later, all right? <laughs> <laughs> so, do you guys think that there's, there, there's an ever more imminent threat of, of uh, mutually... Assured destruction. Uh, no. No? That, that it's no better or worse than it's been at any other point in our history? Mm, it depends. What, what, what area are you referring to? Economics, politics, history, what exactly? Uh, oh. It depends. Oh, I mean, uh, socio- socioeconomic, uh, uh, political, uh, uh, technological. Um, there's a lot of things that are at risk of, of flying out of out of uh, wildly out of control. 
Nuclear warfare. Nuclear warfare too. War for. Warfare too. I mean. War for. Uh, war, war fart. Yes, war fart. Nuclear war farts. Oh. <laughs> I, got, I love those. I mean. Uh, who knows? I mean, uh, I, I've said this before. Who says? Who says? <laughs> you know, we may be overwhelmed with a lot of the things that we, we receive as far as information these days. But who's to say that it hasn't always been this way? We we just did not have the resources to 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 get everything all at once like we do do these days. So I I, I disagree. I think what we've always had the way to get the same information. This is the way that we get it is more effective now, so we can get a better picture. Yeah, but you know, let's say um, in in 1912, I mean a lot of the information you're not going to get unless you have somebody who physically travels from from one uh one landmass to another by boat. So how are you supposed to get a, a, an accurate picture of events when 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 you have no idea what's going on anywhere but in, you know, your immediate 25 miles. That's why you have multiple people keeping track. Wait, what? That's when you have multiple people to keep track of the events going on in the world. I'm saying before, before there there was an ap- uh, ability for for continents to communicate uh, effectively. Well, that's why you write stuff down. You're not getting what I'm saying. Now, you're not picking up what I'm putting down, homie. Apparently not. I guess not. I mean, Egg, whatever. Say, uh, I'm trying to put something into perspective. Okay, let's say, um, I don't know, Bob Smith gets shot uh, in Red Square on Tuesday, the 25th of I don't know, February 2019. You're not going to hear about that until somebody who travels you, or, you know, tra- gives the information and, and the news travels. Uh, physically, to different land masses, uh, you know, months later, for example. Now, today, something that happens anywhere, we're going to hear about it pretty much within 15, 20 minutes. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? No? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Okay. That's where I was going with that. So has has the turmoil that that we we see in everyday life has that always existed? Yes. My thoughts too. My thoughts as well, Friar. What do you think, Rotten? No, I agree. It. I agree. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? I mean, it's a theory, but logically, one's going to think to themselves, you know, shit. Yep. <laughs> shit. Uh, all right. Shit. All right. Closing arguments, comments, anyone? Well, I've got nothing. I'm a whore. Be, ni- I fuck be nice to each other. <laughs> no, yeah, that's not happening. Be nice to each other, people. I mean, no. Even in the face of Ellen, well, this, this is not Ellen DeGeneres. Y- hearing Rodden say "be nice to each other" is kind of funny. <laughs> yes, it is ironic as hell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> take care. Okay. Take care of yourselves and each other. <laughs> that that no, that just sounds sexual. That's Jerry Springer, man. This is, like, take Jerry, care of yourself Jerry, and Jerry, each other. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Well, since the um, the intro music was so well received in its disjointed, chaotic state, I'm going to end with the same intro music. So the and you just are too lazy to find out your music. That too. <laughs> <laughs> but it's special. Something I, I made. I don't know. Well, a couple months ago. But thank you for tw- uh, for tuning in to our. For in. 
suffering succotash. Um, have a great night. Have a wonderful night. Um, have a crappy night. Pull out. You know. Don't. Pull, did you say pull out? <laughs> pull out. Yes. No need to. You don't need to bring kids into this hellhole. Um. Anyways. Enough of uh, the advice. <laughs> <laughs> the advice for the with night. Prince. Thanks for tuning in. See buddy. you next week. See you next week. If we are going asleep. to do something that's not. If Prince doesn't fall asleep again, we'll see you guys next week. Oh, I'm not going to fall asleep. <laughs> I, don't, I, I, don't, I don't trust you. <laughs> All right. Good night, people. <laughs>